But first, stay-at-home order is now in effect for Wake and Orange Counties. The city of Durham also has a stay-at-home order in place. There are now 763 cases of COVID-19 in 60 counties across the state. There are 77 reported hospitalizations and more than 15,000 tests have been completed. As the World Health Organization calls for widespread testing for COVID-19, here in the U.S., the CDC is saying not everyone who thinks they have it needs to be tested. North Carolina is following the CDC's guidance. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland talked one-on-one -on -one today with the state's health director to find out why. Even if you think you're sick with COVID-19, the CDC and the state now say patients with mild symptoms and who are not high risk should just stay home and not seek testing. I talked about that Friday with State Health Director Dr. Elizabeth Tilson. Is that guidance in place because it's necessarily the scientifically, medically best thing to do, or is it a recognition that we simply don't have the resources to test everybody who might be sick with this? So there's a, a lot of different things that go into that recommendation. And for people with mild disease that will recover at home, a test is not going to change their management, but will increase that risk of spread. Second, yes, we do want to be mindful of, of um, preserving um, that personal protective equipment and those supplies for when and if we do get a medical surge, we're going to need to have them um, in place. An analysis by the North Carolina Medical Society predicts with three months of social distancing for peak hospitalizations to happen mid to late May. That's the orange color on this graph. The red is a more dramatic spike with limited action. As of Friday morning, just over 7,000 or about a third of the state's hospital beds are empty. For ICU beds, it's 724 empty or about 22 percent. The stay at home is exactly to flatten that curve because what we want to do is not have everybody get sick at the same time. What exactly has to happen in the next couple of months for you all to feel like we're at the point that we could start reopening schools and reopening businesses? What we want to be seeing is now a deceleration of people um, accessing our, our, our hospitals and a deceleration on those testing positive from our sampling. She says the state will monitor if there's any resurgence of the disease in the fall and if social distancing measures will be used then too. Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.